Hello everyone, and yes, another video. Once again, I apologise if the lighting goes up and down. There seems to be a cloud in front of the sun at this precise moment, but uh, I'm guessing within like 15 seconds it might disappear. Ah, there we go. So, I wanted to go over in this video about when you name your fictional place. I've actually already made a video on this, which you can find over here somewhere, which goes over it more in depth, but a commenter, uh, James, said the other day, can you name your place after a real world place? Now, my immediate response was, well, yeah, you know, name what you want. But then I realised, actually, it kind of depends. I mean, if you name your city London, like, say, the author does in Mortal Engines, Philip Reeves, um, he's got London and it's on big traction wheels and it moves along and there's some iconic buildings showing that it is actually London from the real world and helps the reader recognise it. But if you name your city London in your fictional world, and the only thing that your city shares with London, if you've named it London, is its name. That's where I think you're going to start running into problems. When your audience reads it, and reads that your city's named London, you know what city they're going to think of? That's right. London in the UK. So, if you're going to share a name with a real life city or place, you've got to be aware of what the audience is going to relate it to. Think about whether you really need to have that name. And if you do, I thought of one way of working around it is so for London, you could spell it differently. You could spell it L-U-N-D-Y-N. So on paper, when they're reading the book, London doesn't just instantly jump into their mind. Obviously, for audiobooks, it won't really have the same effect because it will still be pronounced the same, which is also something to think about if you spell it slightly differently. Can you pronounce it differently? But yes, if you name your fictional countries, places, cities um, after places that are in the real world and the only thing they share is the name, you have to be aware of the assumptions that your audience are going to make because you don't want to make it difficult for them to understand or imagine what they're reading. So go for different spellings, go for slightly different pronunciations. Or if it was me, I'd just go for the combination of those two things. Or, or finding just some original names that aren't shared, or at least if you do pick a name uh, of a real place or a real city, make sure it's not one like London, which is obviously well known. But yeah, that's it for this video. It's kind of short, but I just needed to get out of that. I mean, I, I, you know, I replied to the guy in the comment, I, I let him know all this, and I thought, you know what, actually, it's probably worth making a video on it, because I thought it was okay. And then I was just, just before I sent it, I was like, mm, you know what, maybe it isn't, because... You know, you don't want the audience to start assuming your London is based on the London. And there needs to be a way that we can work around it if that's the direction we want to go. But yeah, that's it for this video. Ciao for now.